What's up guys, it's James and welcome back to the Great Gambino channel. Today we are going to be playing Moss. Now this game was originally released when the Oculus Quest first launched and I've been meaning to play it ever since then. I just have never got around to it. The game is made by I believe PolyArc Studios and it's kind of a platform style puzzle adventure game. And if you like those kind of games, I personally do because I like playing third person games once in a while because it allows you to sit down and take a break from just moving around the room. I, I love VR games moving around in a room scale environment, but every now and then it's nice to just sit down on your comfy chair and move around and still be immersed in a 3D, 360 degree world and just take in all the visuals. Also on top of that, I did just get this chair, um, this new Razer chair. My last one fell apart, I bought a cheapo one. And this one is actually really nice. I found it recommended from just watching all different review videos. Uh, the YouTuber that recommended it was Cool Toy. I'll have a link down below to his review of this channel. So I'm definitely excited to play a third person game where I get to sit down and enjoy this nice comfortable chair. So without further ado, let's jump into Moss. All right, here we are. I mean, right away, this looks beautiful. Let me just recenter a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? They called it the Cinder Knight. What came? Oh, skipped. They killed okay. the king. Can I go back? A nope. winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. We go through the this. reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. All right, I have a short attention span, so like, we're not going to go through this whole thing, are we? Sir Argus. Commander of the King's Guard led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was. Oh, I can't, it sounds like she's going to stop. To joined the Sprite Champion at the Mire's Edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was. See, she starts injured. talking again. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. I turn? Okay. She stops talking and then picks back up and I think she's done. Okay. Woo! Oh, this looks great. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Oh, check that out. You like move stuff if you touch it. Where? Oh, here we go. Oh, this looks Quinn unbelievable. Was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in. But she wondered what wow. she might find if she went just a little farther. Oh, this looks so crisp and clean. Oop. Forget my camera's right there. This looks so good. Is it my turn to do something? Oh, 
I'm sorry if I hit the camera. So that's how, that's the distance I have to go. I'm gonna have to try to keep my hands in close quarters here for the purpose of the video. If not, I'll move the camera back a little further. She was not exactly sure what she roused, wow. but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. That's so cool. It looks so real. Quill had to hurry. It looks like a... The village gates would soon close and night would follow. Good little mouse. It looks like a toy sitting right in front of me that I could actually pick up. And when I say it looks real, I mean, it clearly this doesn't look hyper real as far as like the textures and everything. It looks good, but it, when I say it looks real, I mean, it looks like real objects in front of me that you could actually touch. That's what I mean when I say, wow, it looks so real. Oh, I'm controlling. Okay. I wasn't 100% sure if you controlled the character. I thought it was maybe a possibly a point and click. Oh, that's good. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. I feel like it's a remote control character that's right in front of me. Where's, um, I've played uh, Lucky's Tale and that was cool. I feel like this is just seems better. Maybe it's because of the OLED. The OLED monitor. Oh, it's gonna crush the little guy. Oh, it looks awesome. It's so cool looking. Let's get to it. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. I got a crab something. Grab the wall. Oh, okay. A little uncharted here. Okay, so you interact with your hands, moving objects, and you control the character at the same time. Okay. Oh, I got my little sword. Hey, what's this? <laughs> I should have picked this game up before I went on my last plane ride. Where am I? Where's my little, oh, there he is. What's over here? Could I do something over here? A little secret bonus. Oh, that's cool. Woohoo! You know. A lot of people, when it comes to third person games, they say, well, it's third person, why play it in VR? Why not just play it? Why not just play it on a flat screen? But this experience is so much different than playing, say, like Mario 64. It's, it's not the same thing at all. It's just so different. It plays the same way, but having it in this perspective is just, it is still much more immersive than 
what you would get playing on a flat screen. You're, I still feel like I'm in this world and it cuts everything else out. Any other distractions? I gotta go, I have to grab something? Oh, I just pull them open for him, okay. Do I have to fight this guy? Oh no, he's friendly. Hi, oh, sorry, sorry. Can I take this little boat out? Playing this, I, I kind of feel, uh, I feel like I wish I played this when I first got the quest. I think I would have had fun. I mean, I'm enjoying it now. I'm just saying, I feel like I waited a long time to play something that was really cool and available. You know, releases are coming slow for the quest. We're getting some good stuff, but you know, I, I should have tried this earlier. Whoa. So maybe. Okay, so. Okay. Get up there, are you? Here we go, tiptoeing. Oh, it's thin, okay. That was a flat top. You will slow down. What did that do? Thanks okay. to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. Whoa! Oh. Oh, cool. Check out she the squirrel. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Chop. Chop. Uncle okay. Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle, Uncle, there's something you have to see. Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Oh, so the pages light Both up when, they're, when it's being read, and then when it's done. she showed him the glass. What is it? It's brightness. She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? Roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. 
They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. Quill. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Ha! It's okay, Quill. You'll get over it. This is so awesome. Look at all the little details. The sword up here, all the little books on the shelf, the fire. There's just so much detail, so many things to look at. Hey, kid. Kid. Wake up. Hey, kid, over here. I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. We're going to need them. Quill called out. Oh. Hey! Starthing, wait! <laughs> Quill had never met a Starthing. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. Let's go follow this glowing night intruder. The passage through the eastern gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Quill demanded answers. Starthing, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? Hey, where am I? Trouble your uncle's heading Chuck. is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. I don't want to fall. Oh, okay, I'll push it. Yeah. Oh, all that. <laughs> Do all that again. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Is it a portal? This way, kid. Urge the starving. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. Do I get to go? <laughs> there we come. these little bugs right here. Can I chop the mushrooms up? Nope. Whoa. Oh, here we go. Ooh. 
stepping stones. Okay. Ah! All right, here we go. Get onto this? No. How many lives do I get? I hope I don't like have to start over. I think you maybe get endless lives. Get up there. Okay. It's very playable. It's really. It feels very polished. <laughs> just adjust this real quick. Here we go. I'll sit back and just. Ooh, do I have to jump onto that? I feel like it's not right. Yeah, I gotta go back this way. It's probably just for getting that little envelope, a little scroll. I like the little. Up here. Ah! Let's go over to the ledge. That way we get nice. Just on the other side is the Maya. The starting assured. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. Hey, where am I? Oh, okay. We're just gonna pretend like I didn't just that? fly off the side of the raft. The starting seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just. Don't go and die on me. I can't be seen with you. Oh, I didn't I just didn't even try there, did I? <laughs> Maybe that's what all those little sparkly things that you get from the barrels it gives you energy to bring him back, her back. Um, oh, sorry, camera. Chop these ones up, too. I like how you can see through. It makes kind of like just a, like an x-ray where you can see through and Makes it easier to know where you're going. Obviously, they have to do that. Chop, chop. Hmm. Hmm. I don't. Th oh, okay. There's a ledge right there. No! Can I like... Power you up, buddy. Well, how do I... It just keeps trying to go up there every time. Huh. Can I climb these little things? No, what about this ledge? Could I grab this and get rid of it? No.
I don't know. I totally did that wrong, but that's okay. Oh, I gotta go down here. Okay. on that thing. Here we go. Oh! Little bugs. Oh. You're ready for the fight. Nope. Now you get suffer. Oh, look, you can see right into its little mechanics. Oh, it's so neat. Spikes, so I can get pushed into them. Oh! Well, good thing I powered myself up there. Okay, go through. Whisper echoed through the trees. Fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power. All right, here we go. A small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire, and you have crossed into our domain. She sized up Quill with a rueful gaze, then turned her attention upward. I sense you there, too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Veda thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees buckled as Veda continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. Your uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The Arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest, looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you find them first. Take these. Weapons made for the mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Find your uncle, Twofold before the serpent and its masters break him. The warrior fumed. Hourglass with her? Rootseer, she's minuscule. Come now, the reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Veda replied with a frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. All right, let's continue onward. Is 
This is a fun little story game. It's a nice, it really is, it's a, it's a come on. I gotta invest in a different pair of headphones for this that don't run across the back, but this is a nice little change up from just having to move around. You do get tired in a lot of games and you're playing like Beat Saber or uh, I don't know, like a fighting game or even a shooting game. You get tired and uh, you need to take a break just because of cardio purposes. But, you know, this I feel like I could sit and play for five, six hours, no problem. I can pull it maybe the rest of the way. Woo. This chair is super comfy, by the way. There he is. She is. It was Quill's favorite story. How Sir Argus fought beside the Sprite Champion to seal this temple from the Arcane and secured the survival of their kinds. Simply standing in their heroic footsteps felt Great honor. Really cool. Every now and then you gotta just stop and look around and just see the detail of everything. I mean, you could really appreciate the 3D modelers and everything they created in a way that you just can't on a flat screen. I mean, you can, but it, it's different when you can move your head around it and really just see it from all different angles and let the um, the, the lighting, the artificial lighting react to the 3D object. It's really cool. Whoa. Oh, that went up, okay. I'm gonna have to fight these little crabby creature beetle things. But a patience is all it takes. I heard something open. I don't see where it is. Oh, it's right here. Here we go.
I just feel like they wouldn't let you do that. Oh, I see. Oh. oh, that was a close one. Wait, I could... I could do something with this? I just walk him off a cliff? I could just, like, get it out of my way, I guess. I don't have to even fight it. You leave me alone. You know what I gotta do? I gotta put him on this. You stay there. Okay. Ah! Yeah! I don't know what this does. It's a lever. Okay. Oh, okay, I gotta come back here, I see. It's fast. Oh, oh, well, I'm in there. Get up there. Oh, no. 
Oh. Come on, little, little buddy. Get off, drop the wall. I gotta maybe run and do it. Whoa! I'm up there. I'm up there. Oh shit. No. Ah, uh, so do I pull these off? Okay, so let's put him back. Gotta time that better. Here we go. Oh, you know what we have to do? I bet we have to... Put him in there. Oh. Come here, you little gobbler. Different door. Okay, I can jump up there and grab that. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Ha! <laughs> okay, what do I gotta do here? Oh no, I just spin this. There we go. Go somewhere else. Oh. Wait, maybe I have to light that fire. Nope. Wait. So I light these two. Oh, that did it. I wonder what's down there. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going forward here though. Nope. Well, I think we have to go the other way. But that's lit now. Okay. And there's our hero. Okay, we are gonna take a break here. It's been about an hour, so I like to keep my videos a little bit under an hour. So thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end if you have. I'm gonna to try to play through this entire thing. I, I know sometimes they say I'm gonna play through it all, and I usually don't. It all depends on how well the game is received and the review is received uh, on YouTube. So anyways, I do like this. It's fun, it's relaxing, and I can see playing through the entire thing. If you wanna check this game out and you wanna try something different that's not in a first person mode, I definitely recommend this because it is really well polished. So thanks again guys for sticking with me and I'll see you in the next gameplay.